So in this video, we're testing the same piece of code here again to the RC uh, to go to the virtual remote controller, but we are using uh, a 904C right now. And also right now we are using wire to the NN 101, and then we're gonna try Zigbee and then Bluetooth and so on again. Okay, I'm plugging my LN 101 into the PC. It's connecting now. Gonna power on to this one. So the Allen 101 is gonna become 23. Make sure you change to the correct controller here. And let's say we can download it okay. Great. It worked great. New output. So I'm turning it off here. We turn it on again to run it. So you see a little header there. Version A from web version A to the virtual RC. So let's see if it's working or not. Okay, so working very nicely. So very agile. That's what we would expect for a wire connection. So I'm going to pause a little bit and switch to Zigbee now. Okay, we're back. So right now is a CM5, CM904C, still working same software. But right now we have Zigbee through here. And the Zigbee on the PC side goes through the USB to Dynamixo, Zig to Zero, Dollar Card. And right now, so this one is connected to the P4, Zig 110 now, and then that communicates to the CM904. And this one, the COM port is a different COM port, COM22 now. So I'll make sure I choose COM22. Make sure the right controller. I already got the program downloaded, so I'm just gonna view output the program. Click on my virtual RC. Okay, and see if it's working. Here we go. So let's hold it there and see. So very responsive, and anytime you release it, it clear out the buffer. So Zigbee and wire. Like for the uh, various CM versions, is working very fine and uh, performance is good. I'm going to pause again and switch to BT110. So I'm back again. So this is the same CM904C running, but we have the BT110 in here now. So BT110 on my PC is connected to COM. 14. So let's have on that. Go to your output program, click on it. So it takes some time for BT to connection all the time, but that's the way it is. Pop the virtual RC. And see. So it's running okay. So far, so good. So you see it all down, and as soon as I release it, it's slight sleazy tuck now. And this is BT210. So this is on CM904. Let's see when they're gonna unstuck itself. There you go. So BT210, a little bit more responsive. Okay. So if I hold down the button along, it gets stuck. But this is a property or characteristic of BT, so it's stuck now. Here we go. So I think it's a, somehow the firmware for uh, the BT stack is not clearing out yet or something. Here we go, it's stuck here again. Let I release it. So it looks like it seemed to me that it uh, somehow the, the stack for BT
is not reading the uh, virtual controller not very well. So okay, so that BT one ten. I think I still can use it for remote controller of my robot. I think it's decent. It's pretty good. Not as good as Zigbee as you can uh, saw it. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pause it again and switch to BT210. So I'm back again. So this time it's uh, BT210 now, and the program is running. BT210 on my PC happened to be connected to COM10. So that's where we got. Let's view output the program. See, it takes a long time for BT210 compared to 110 to connect. So right now I'm not sure what the situation is. So let's see. I'm still working here. So okay, so it gets stuck in there and then it's they release. It's stuck here. So basically. Uh, VT VT somehow doesn't connect the uh, button release very well. So the uh, not as that's not as sensitive. Uh, so it gets stuck here again. Clear. So it should have, if I assume I really the button should have go back to 512, but it didn't. So the Bluetooth tag, especially on 210, somehow missing the release signal on the virtual RC 100 pretty badly for some reason. But on CM904, see the behavior a little bit better. Here we go, it's stuck again.